All right, let's just do something we like to call social media check-in. Let's check in with what people are asking on social media. Princess Rose on Facebook, how can I respond to USCIS with further evidence if my RFE has been terminated? You don't, you would have to refile again. Fatini Park on YouTube, if I completed my biometrics for a prior application, which was denied, and I've since reapplied, will USCIS use my old biometrics or will I have to redo them? Most likely they'll use the old one. Lakitty on YouTube, if I recently applied for VAWA based on the I-485 application, what is my current immigration status right now? Pending VAWA or pending adjustment. All right, three more. Janelson Burgos on Twitter, if the U.S. Citizenship Act of 2021 is approved in its entirety and I'm granted legal temporary status, could I then join the military and attain citizenship faster that way? Presumably, yes, but we'll have to see the specifics. Annette Graham on Facebook, if my friend is married to an American citizen, can she file for his sister? If your friend married an American citizen, can he file for the sister? That would be the sister-in-law? No. Um, it says, if my friend is married to an American citizen, so yeah, so like yeah, the, yeah, the, the wife, friend. can she file for his sister and son? No. no. Mm -hmm. And last one comes from Brittany XD on Instagram. How can I gr bring my grandmother to live with me here in the U.S.? Unfortunately, there's no grandkid filing for grandmother application. Your mom or dad can file for grandma, but you can't. Thanks for watching. For more Bradshaw Live, like and subscribe to our YouTube channel.